I don't really have anything to add, so if you just want to fire away, go ahead. How's bowl preparation differ than playoff preparation? Well, it's a lot longer. You know, playoff preparation is exactly as it would be for a normal game week. Um, you have the exact same meeting times. You have the exact same practice schedule. Um, you travel on the same day. This is 15 practices, or 13 in our case, so it's a lot different. You know? um, plus, these guys are younger. You can come out and you can be a little more physical. You can do the young guy scrimmages, full go. You can't do that stuff in the NFL. By this time in the NFL, you're never in pads. You have to be a little more creative. Huh? Uh, for these guys here, yeah, yeah. But it's there's there's a lot of guys, so there's a lot you can do. With with the young guys scrimmaging, a lot of coaches think that uh, that gives them benefit down the road and whatnot. Are, do you think that aspect of it is overrated or underrated? Or you know, I don't know yet because this is the first time I've been through it. So, uh, but I think any reps you can get, any work you can give them is going to be a, of a benefit, if, as long as it's concentrated on what you need to concentrate on. And what we try to do is when we get into that young guy scrimmage is it's not about game planning for Baylor anymore, it's about our stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, as much fundamental work as you can give them, I think it's gonna, it's gonna help them improve. Yeah, this big guy is starting to get antsy once with so much time until the bowl game. You worry about that, you know? Uh, so I think it's really important that you structure your practices and you structure the time between really yesterday and kickoff in a way that you keep them focused and keep them sharp and so we're trying to do that you know a good blend of practice and meetings and then time off and then time together doing something away from the football field and uh, you know, I just think though as the game gets closer and closer the excitement level will start to rise and, and they'll be ready to go. Not having done bowl preparation before did you talk to any other coaches about maybe how they <laughs> structure those practices or how they keep the No is this just, just our, I mean I talked to our staff yeah. but no, I mean, I, I think I have a pretty good sense of how to do those things. I mean, it's not like it's my first year coaching. So, you know, you look at what other people have done, but I haven't talked to anyone. You know, a lot of guys on my staff have been through this, so they, they're able to help me. How excited are you to be able to play at a bowl game? Well, I just like playing. You know, I like competing. I like the chance uh, to go down there and play against a really good Baylor team. And I think it's great for our, uh, especially our seniors, to get one more opportunity to put on their uniforms and go out and compete together. Do you think it's an advantage that you guys get to stay in California as two Baylor? Yeah, I don't think it matters when you get to bowl game because, you know, we're going to be there close to a week in advance of the game. And so we're both going to be in an environment that's a little bit foreign to us in terms of the hotel and the practice surroundings and things like that. The stadium's neutral. Uh, the thing, thing that I think could be an advantage to us is that, you know, our fan base can get down there easily. Um, a, a long, those lines, you know, we've got the holidays, so we're going to be down for Christmas Eve and Christmas, and so it's a little easier probably for our families, the families of our players, to be down there with them. But I'm sure that Baylor will bring a really strong contingent as well. How much have you seen the defensive line through the rest of the season? Our defensive line? Oh, I think they, they're really good. You know, I think it's a solid group. I think, uh, uh, I think Angus has done a tremendous job with them. I think they've shown a great work ethic. Uh, I said it in, in the spring, I think there was a little bit of a doubt when I said it that I thought the defensive line was one of the strong points of our team. I think it's proven to be the case. Okay? All right.